you know, Canadian maple leaves, gold, silver, um, even uh, one ounce rounds, uh, 10 ounce bars. I have no idea when I'm gonna get it. That's the scary part. Hey Tim. Hey there. How's it going? It's already been a long day. Already been a long day. Well, you also had some work done, didn't you? I did, yes. How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling all right. I'm still swollen on the side of my face. I carry my trusty uh, ice pack with me anywhere I go. So, uh, so, so you're not going to be in much of a talkative mood today, are you? Uh, well, it depends. Are we talking politics or <laughs> silver and gold? <laughs> Is there a difference with you? <laughs> uh, I mean, politics is a little more, a little easier to understand. Yeah, it's been crazy since we last spoke. I have rarely seen the spot price so dramatically rise. I mean, I have to go back to what, 2009, maybe? Yeah, it's just to hold your breath and wait. Um, it'll come back to the trend line. Okay. And I don't think it's going to go below the trend line. It may establish a new trend, but it's 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 usually a very small percentage. It's not not a. I mean, the slope doesn't go like this and then go like that. Right. That's that's no, doesn't make sense. Well, we had a little pullback today. We're doing this on Wednesday. Uh, not as much as I thought. I think it. I think there's still room for it to go down. Well, there there was a big pullback early in the morning. Right. That's what I said. And um, I haven't looked at it for a while, but yeah. it, it came back to. Um, was it, it was around 1925 or 1930, something like that. It was a big pullback. Yeah, it's, um, gold is proving itself to be um, important to the world community. And um, silver, not quite as important. Hmm. Demand for buying during this hype, Demand during is, the is during the rise. Absolutely crazy. Worst I've ever seen. Yeah, mm -hmm. And getting product is impossible. Um, I have so many people that are waiting and they don't understand that I'm not getting the material in. I have um, a big order I placed, well, that was over three weeks ago. And um, some, that you know, Canadian maple leaves, gold, silver, um, even uh, one ounce rounds, uh, 10 ounce bars. I have no idea when I'm going to get it. That's the scary part. How about, you, do you think there's some dis delay or some impact from Canada with the Royal Canadian? Well, there has been. Um, whether there still is, I couldn't tell you, but you know, the Canadian men is in Ottawa. <clears throat> they put it on a truck, they send it across the border. And if they get the wrong driver, you know, he hasn't been vaccinated, he's probably in jail and the truck's probably been impounded sitting in a field someplace surrounded by, you know, three feet of snow. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I had this conversation with you know one of the wholesalers. Um, I mean, they're they're tearing their out there. They, they they don't know why things aren't coming in. I have to assume that all the silver doesn't come from the United States and Canada. I'm assuming a lot of it comes from places like Australia or somewhere in Asia, uh, which means it's probably sitting on a container ship somewhere off the coast. You know, they, they, this government has not solved any problem. And in fact, a lot of the things they're doing is making it worse. Um, mm. You know, shutting down the pipelines and exploration and all that. It, it, it doesn't, not something you can turn on and expect results tomorrow. It usually is um, three to five months before something gets going, before you see any, any material in the pipeline. You can't have a president who's begging for oil from Saudi Arabia who couldn't care less Iran, you know, you know the, the answer is going to be the same from all of them. They don't care if Biden is their friend in Iran. I can't believe he's, he's asking Venezuela too. Venezuela, the, <laughs> the, the, company, the country that nationalized their entire oil industry, including, you know, they went to Exxon Mobil and they said, well, you now belong to us. Well, Exxon said, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. To, to even think about doing business with Venezuela is crazy. Although they probably have oil to give away, because uh, you know who's buying it. Uh, maybe the Russians are buying it, for all we know. I mean, I wouldn't put it past Putin to be buying up oil everywhere. And people coming in also and selling at this at this. Uh, not price? many. Not many people are selling constitutional silver. Um, or is that? That's that's a problem. It's a real problem. 
and the you know, one of the wholesalers who doesn't have a great um, uh, what should I say um, a great market area. Their market area is kind of small. Um, you know, the wholesaler I was going to had a big market area. He covered all of New England. And um, a lot of individuals who, who, you know, bought their silver back in the, you know, in the 90s or um, early 2000s would sell, you know, junk silver, primarily constitutional, back to him. Uh, and he, you know, he covered the whole New England area. So he had dealers from all over, 50 dealers would be bringing stuff to him. Um, what I'm using now for a larger national wholesaler, um, they they have they buy everything they get, but individuals aren't going to these people. Individuals would go to a regional wholesaler, but not to a national wholesaler. So they have agents out there buying it for them. So they would buy it from my wholesaler, my regional wholesaler. And so then they buy from him. He's selling it to them the same price he would sell it to me. And then they're jacking the price up so they can resell it. So, so supply has been challenging. The demand so, has been through the roof. Yeah. How do you keep inventory and make a profit? I guess is well, my question. We still buy everything that comes through the door. Right. And uh, we, we're paying over spot for everything. Um, wow. Between February 3rd and March 3rd, mm -hmm. I spent half a million dollars buying from wholesalers. Okay. Now, I know I've lost money on about 125,000 of that. I've lost money. Wow. And it's, you know, it's not a lot. It's like, you know, if I um, have an order sitting here and for, let's say, 10 ounce silver bars are a good measure because we sell a lot of those. Um, and, you know, the, it's, the order is for uh, five bars at $290 a piece. And now I'm buying them for 295 that's the kind of problem we have. Um, so, you know, we gotta, gotta go with the flow, as they say. <laughs> the flow has been all downhill lately. Has your premium gone up dramatically? Where premium it's been? just went up on uh, 2022 Silver Eagles and 2022 Silver Maple Leafs. The premium just went up. Oh. And it used to run on the Eagles, it ran around nine dollars. Now it's ten plus. Oh my goodness! Yeah, and that's and don't ask me why. I mean, it's, it's everything starts with the U.S. Mint and their wholesalers. If their wholesalers, who depend on the U.S. Mint to make a living, aren't getting the material they need, they'll raise the prices. They have that flexibility, and you know. You know, being a one-man store and having the problems that I have, that's nothing compared to what these wholesalers have to put up with. And I had one guy, I think he was in mid-Atlantic, um, he had to have a name for it, repository, I guess, for the U.S. Mint. Um, he said, well, let's see, this is back about 2020. We ordered a tractor trailer load of monster boxes and we got a pickup truck load. And I said, there's nothing we can do about it, but you know, we have to put everybody on allocation that way. So, you know, you put that on a national scale and that's where the premiums are going up. It's, you know, it starts with the U.S. Mint. Is there any- And then if in, you're in, in, trying to do business with the Canadian Mint, yes. which is in Ottawa- <laughs> It's even worse. And you can't get to work in the morning <laughs> because there are trucks blocking your way. What the- do you see a change in this? I mean, is this the new normal? Is it ever going to recede? Because I want to get back into some well, of them. Gold drags silver around or pushes silver around is probably the best way to put it. Um, and world events determine the price of gold. And uh, what people are seeing now is a prospect of very high inflation. And, you know, we got a president who one day says, I'm doing everything I can to lower the price of gasoline. And then it goes up a dollar. Give you the name of the, the, the ones I used to have, and then you, speak, you tell me which one. And you're but, listening to this guy, Yankee Stacking, on YouTube? Yeah. That's yes, Yankee. <laughs> How are you, Yankee? <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> I was just teasing you. Thank you so much for uh, watching my channel. I do. <laughs> you did a pretty good job, because there's a lot of people like me. We don't know what to do, and... 
Mm. Things are getting scary in Colorado. I mean, food, the price went up. We barely have stuff right now. And uh, I'm, I believe something bad is going to happen. It's, it's crazy. Well, you know, the, the government has been saying that uh, inflation is around 5%. The government is now going to tell us that inflation is closer to 10%, which means that real inflation is 15 to 20%. Uh, it, we're, we're headed for a, a big change in uh, the way everything is priced. And, um, uh -huh. and they, don't, they don't know what they're doing. They, they can't solve any problems. Not this government. I know. I know. Well, you think it's going to happen this year or next year? Because next Oh, we still have two more years for the election, right? Uh, no, well, no. The, the important election is this year in November. We want to get rid of all those um, congressmen that are in there. All the ones that are not on Congressmen and congresswoman. Congressmen yeah. and congresswoman, both of them, yes. yes. Especially the ones in Colorado. <laughs> You're making some yeah. good choices to help protect yourself against this inflation that we're seeing. But I think you're right. Tim, I think they're going to reset it. I think they're going to reset their targets. If 2% was great, why not 5%? That could be just as good, right, Tim? Yeah, uh, it'll, we'll never see 5% again, but uh, it's a good target. <laughs> I don't think many of the suppliers have a lot. We're, we're seeing that um, some of the wholesalers are going overseas to get more silver. Um, they are really scratching the, you know, scraping the bottom of the barrel to, to find silver, period. Uh, so a, a lot of it is going to be hard to get. But um, you've sent me uh, $4,100. We'll find a way of filling that out in silver. Okay, and, one more question before we go through that. What is Golden Eagle? Um, you mentioned that already down here. Well, the Gold Eagle is, is it's the same program as the Silver Eagle. They, uh, it's a one ounce gold coin. They also have half ounce, uh, quarter ounce, and tenth ounce coins. It, the smaller the coin, the higher the premium. Uh, but the one ounce coin right now is about uh, 35 or $40 more than a gold maple leaf. And they're, both of them are over $2,100. I know. That one I care for it. I think I'm gonna stick with the silver. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm getting American Eagle, right? For sure. Yes. Okay. And I'm getting Canadian Canadian Maple Leaf. Yes. Okay. Now what else? What is buff Buffalo? Is that Buffalo? Well, it's a, it looks like the Buffalo Nickel that was made back in the '30s and uh, '20s. Um, the buffalo nickel design is just a very popular design, has the Indian head on one side and then the buffalo on the reverse, or the bison on the reverse. Um, they make it, instead of making it in nickel, they make it in silver and it's one ounce. So it, uh, a tube of 20 um, of buffaloes would have the same amount of silver as a tube of American eagles. There would be 20 coins in a tube. Um, the the um, important thing is the premium is lower on that type of silver than it would be on the uh, American Eagle. Okay, let's do the American Eagle. Canadian maple leaf. Okay, because I read it down here. I see constitutional silver. So I'm going to do constitutional silver, right? Right there? Um, yeah, I have some on order. We don't have much in stock right now, but... Um, Everything I have on order, they haven't been able to give me a schedule on that, so I'm, I'm still waiting for the Constitutional. If you're not in a hurry, we'll have all of this stuff. Uh, whatever you get, you can send me and then bring the rest later, but I'm going to send you that checks. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Thank you so much. That was great talking with you. Me too. <laughs> and I appreciate what you do, and I keep watching you. Oh, thank you. Take care. Tim, I want to buy some silver. Okay, I, you know I don't like walking out of here empty-handed. So, uh, can you open that magic door there and and show me all the goodies? How about a lot of uh, overpriced Libertas? Okay, let's see. I'm not sure they're all marked, but let's take a look. Yeah, it's got some special uh, World of Dragon silver rounds in here, I think. Are you out of maples? 
Now I still have a few, but they're all spoken for. Okay. I'm waiting for monster boxes to come in. All right. This says Norse. Oh, okay. yes. This is a Welsh dragon. This is Aztec. Oh, yes, Aztec. This is Chinese. Which one are you missing? I don't, I don't remember, but I want one of each. Okay, Tim, it looks like I'm going to walk out of here empty-handed. You have a lot of silver spoken for, and you're still waiting on the orders to come in. I'll be back, okay? Very good. Thanks a lot, Tim. Thank you.